national anthem. Eminent Nigerians, some call us leaders of thought, who are committed to the unity of Nigeria and good governance under a legitimate Nigeria People's Democratic Constitution, which we believe would best ensure the unity and peaceful development of the country. The founding chairman of the Patriots was late Chief Roger B. Williams, Timmy the Law, as he was fondly called. He was succeeded by Professor Ben Mabueze, and uh, I am now the successor of Professor Ben Mabueze as chairman of the Patriots. In March, the Patriots organized a national colloquium, and the attendees of the colloquium included many former governors and many former and serving senators and members of the House of Representatives, as well as several academics and constitutional lawyers plus members of the general public. The colloquium unanimously adopted a view which they requested should be conveyed to you, Mr. President, and to the National Assembly. The view was that Nigeria needs a new legitimate Nigeria People's Democratic Constitution. That the present constitution is illegitimate and cannot deal effectively with the myriad challenges facing this country. In other words, that our present governance system needs to be restructured. Nigeria is a pluralistic country. That is a country of different peoples with different languages, different cultures, and different religions. Experience throughout the world has shown that the pluralistic countries that have survived as united political entities are those that addressed the basic challenge of pluralism, that is, their diversity, through truly federal constitutions, and that those pluralistic countries that persisted in their non-truly federal constitutions ended up disintegrating. Examples of the pluralistic countries that have survived are Canada, Switzerland, and India. And the examples of the pluralistic countries that persisted with non-truly federal constitutions which disintegrated are Yugoslavia, which broke into seven independent countries after almost 100 years' existence as one country, and Czechoslovakia, that separated into two countries, and coming nearer home here in Africa, 
Sudan, which broke into two countries after existing as one country for about 3,000 years. We believe, therefore, that if Nigeria is to effectively tackle its myriad challenges and to achieve its potential as a politically stable democracy, it must restructure its present governance system to truly federal system based on the factors recognized by Nigeria's founding fathers who negotiated and agreed the 1960-1963 constitutions. Above all, Mr. President, the Patriots believe that your personal record as one of the great champions of Nigeria's democracy, Nigeria struggled to restore democracy during the Nadeko days, provides our country with its best opportunity for achieving Nigeria's people's democratic constitution. To this end, we have come to appeal to you to send to the National Assembly the President's executive bill which would call for two important measures. First, the convening of a National Constituent Assembly with the mandate to produce a draft People's Democratic Constitution. The Constituent Assembly should be of directly elected individuals, elected on non-political party basis from the 36 states of the Federation, possibly three individuals per state and one from the Federal Capital Territory. They should be assisted by seven constitutional lawyers, drawn one each from the geo six geopolitical zones and one from the federal capital territory. And the deliberations of the Constituent Assembly should take into full account the 1960 and 63 constitutions, as well as the recommendations of the 2014 National Conference, and indeed of various of the various other national conferences that considered the Nigerian constitution. And the second measure that we propose for your president's executive bill is for the establishment of a national referendum to which the draft constitution emerging from the Constituent Assembly would be subjected. The draft constitution produced by the Constituent Assembly as I said, should be put to a national referendum, and if approved, should then be signed by the president as the genuine, legitimate Nigerian people's constitution. And finally, regarding what I referred to at the beginning of my remarks as the troubling national affairs, the Patriots welcome the fact that the President addressed the nation last Sunday on the 4th of August. We welcome that fact. We consider that it would be helpful to take at least two more measures in dealing with the current protests. 
First is for the government, both at the federal and state levels, to have dialogue with the leaders of the protests. And the second is to advise the law and order enforcement agencies to avoid the use of lethal equipment in managing the protests so that we can minimize the number of casualties in the protests. Thank you, Mr. President. Vice President, Kashim Shetima, Chief of Staff, and other members of uh, our cabinet and government here present, to Sir Meka and Yoko. It's very good to see you. Uh, I'm very happy that you are here and to other leaders of Patriots thank you for being there as a great citizens of our country very concerned. I remember so a good to find you here again to our leaders. We thank God for the memory of uh, Chief Rotimi Williams and that of Chief Ben Wabersi. I've listened to you carefully. And this is not a group that you ignore. It's a group of patriots reflecting the heart and aspiration of the society. I thank all of you for being here. I have face the challenge of this democracy, democracy and inherited this democracy from your struggles. I must recognize the fact that it is most required for good governance, a democracy. We have no other choice. And I believe that. I believe also that it's very difficult to manage. Yes. to the twists and turns of democratic governance. I want to assure all of you, as I listen to you, the two major reforms that you requested path to referendum and 
that should lead to constitutional measures that will fit our diversity and governance. So we avoid conflict and breakups. Yes, I'm from the school that will advocate for unity of this country. And I believe in it. I definitely want to assure you that whatever is necessary, I will put happiness and good governance in the head of all Nigerians. It's, it's what I will do. I've listened to the past cries of constitutional reform. Yes, I've had your examples and a thoughtful presentation on this subject. Avoidance of chaos is necessary to build this country and move its aspiration across the line for the benefit of all of us. I'm still preoccupied with thinking and tinkering with the economic reform. That's my first priority. Once I get that reform in place as soon as possible, then I look at other options. The option of uh, constitutional review, as recommended by you, and other options of uh, landed mines in this country, you should take into account the need for our nation to make progress. And I've seen many people that had been in the trenches with me. Kano uh, Agabi, Labra Maku and so and many of you here who be able to say you know me and you make your one way or the other. We are related, and we have a good history together. And no matter how hard it was for me when I got your request to be here, I quickly look into it. We believe in Nigeria. That is what is paramount in your mind. 
But how will it be governed constitutionally, legitimately, without unnecessary aches and pain of its diversity? needs to be addressed constitutionally and build a nation that we can proudly say we will have a hand over a banner without staying to our children. I work on that. And we have to summon you again. Uh, to furnish and discuss further details of your rich background. As you present this to me, just believe that it is before these personalities. It is here to be reviewed, digested, and taken seriously. I want to say thank you very much for, for coming. I commit myself to the foresight and the belief that you want a stable Nigeria, a prosperous country, Nigeria. We will work towards that. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 sorry. Sorry, sir. Thank you very much, Excellency.